What's up YouTube? This is cool guy 7422 and today in this video we are going to be doing a review of the Apple iPod Touch 5th generation. So, Apple ha has released this since October 12th. So, here it is with all its glory. So, for, we're going to be talking about the design of the iPod Touch. We're going to talk about the actual build quality of it. And we're going to be talking about the hardware and specs. So let's jump right into the design of the iPod Touch Fit Generation. So what we're going to do is just take it out of this casing. Put that to the side. And here is the iPod Touch 5th Generation. This has a 4-inch Retina Display screen. And it's the same screen you will find on the iPhone 5 that Apple just released. So, the iPod Touch Fit Generation comes in many, many different colors. It comes in blue, as you see right here. It comes in black, I believe, white, uh, pink, red, and uh, I believe that's it. So, that's a handful of different colors. So, let's just go around the iPod Touch and see what we can find. On the top, we have the power button, and then just on and off sleep wake. And then we have on the bottom, we have the lightning port, we have the 35 millimeter headphone jack, and we have the speaker grill. On the side, we have the two volume rockers up and down. On the other side, we have pretty much nothing. On the iPhone 5, you will find a SIM tray. Moving on to the back, we have this brushed aluminum design with every color you get, which feels very, very smooth all in all. We have the Apple iPod logo right here built into the aluminum. We have the Wi-Fi antenna, which has better Wi-Fi connection. We haven't seen this since the iPod Touch 3rd generation. Right here, we have the 3.5 millimeter... Oh, we have the 5 megapixel camera, we have the microphone, and we have the LED flash. The 5 megapixel camera shoots, I believe, 720p video, and it is overall really, really nice. The, sh the pictures on it are also really, really good, and they are better than the iPhone 4 and 4S. So down here we have the iPod Touch 5th generation loop. This is new to the, all the Apple products. None of them have it except the iPod Touch 5th generation. And whichever color you get, it will be a silver button. So we tap that and, it, and the spring pops up just like that. And then we have this loop that comes in the box. The, the loop that comes in the box. So this loop, we're going to just attach it on so you get this part. And the you just stick it in there right like that uh, right just like that and then the iPod Touch Fit Generation loop is on so you just put your hand in just like that and it will dangle 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 so this is just for kids and it's engineered for maximum funness so let's just take that off for the rest of the video and um, let's get back to the iPod so, on the back, I will say again, it does feel really, really, really nice. It's brushed aluminum, real brushed aluminum, so I just love that. So, down here with their new lightning connector, we ha I happen to have a spare right here. Here it is. It's the lightning connector. It's the 8-pin lightning connector. So, they revealed this with the Apple iPhone 5. So... They have this on the iPad Mini, the iPod Touch Fit Generation, the iPad 4, and the iPhone 5. So what we're going to do is just do a test. We're going to see how it fits into the iPod Touch. So we're just going to... That's it. We're just going to stick it in there, and that's it. And it is reversible, which I really do like. So I just switched the side, if you could have saw that. And bam, it's it. So that's how easy it is to charge it, and here is the other end. Now, remember that the iPod Touch 5th generation uh, doesn't come with a adapter, AC adapter, so you're going to have to buy one, or if you have any other Apple product, you're just going to have to use that one. 
and I don't know why Apple didn't include that. I just I just don't know why, but I think it would be a great thing to include. So next we are going to just turn on the iPod Touch. Oh, actually, um, we're gonna talk about this camera right here. I am so sorry. I do not know the megapixels of this camera, but um, for FaceTime, it shoots 720p video, so that's really really good for FaceTime. So we're gonna turn on the iPod Touch, just like that. We're gonna slide to unlock. This is running on iOS 6.1.3. I will show you that. As you can see, 6.1.3. So, next, I am going to be talking about the camera of the iPod Touch. So, as I open up the camera application, uh, sorry about that, um, I can automatically see that it has an outstanding camera like all the colors are very saturated and they're very very good in contrast as you can see I just took a picture and I, as you can see that came out really really nice and really really crisp so we can also edit this picture so we can just tap that little edit button and then we have these four icons we can just move it around whichever orientation we can put auto enhance on and we can if there's a red eye we can just tap anywhere then we can crop it as much as we want just like that as you can see cropped so it will be saving the photo so next we're going to be talking about how the camera it sh as many times as you tap it uh it keeps shooting a photo so let me just show you that right now with the apple ipod touch fit generation lightning connector As you can see, I tapped it about nine times, and um, it took nine pictures. So that was uh, a nice feature. Next, we're going to be talking about the video of the on the iPod Touch Fit generation. So we're going to just switch the video, and we're going to shoot a 720p video right now. We can turn the flash on or off if we want, because now flash, flash is available on the iPod Touch Fit generation. As you can see, flash. We're just gonna put that on auto right now, and um, so we're just gonna make a video. As you can see, the video making is very nice and clean. So the last thing we're gonna be talking about is um, the build quality of the iPod Touch Fit Generation. I actually think the iPod Touch Fit Generation was a nice nice product and Apple did a really really great job on it there's not one thing I would want it to change from it, ha it has nice colors it has a big screen a nice retina display screen I just love that and everything is just so like in its spot just like the iPhone 5 people are saying this is just like the iPhone 5 the iPod touch fourth generation the one before this was like the iPhone 4s but this is like the iPhone 5 so, before we end this video, we're just going to be talking about one more thing. We're going to be talking about web browsing on the iPod Touch. So, this is the Safari web browser, so we're going to see how fast it goes. So, I am on a low Wi-Fi connection. I'm really sorry about that, but I'm just going to go to Google.com and that appeared to be really fast so we're just gonna open up something really really big so we're gonna open up apple.com and that was pretty fast for our average person and the iPod Touch Fit Generation came up so we're gonna open up one more website we're gonna open up reddit so there we go this has a lot of information on it and it's still opened up. So this has been our review of the iPod Touch 5th generation 32 gigabyte model. I forgot to mention that it's a 32 gigabyte model. The iPod Touch only comes in 32 and 64 gigabyte. So thank you for watching and um, this has been Cool Guys 7422 signing out.